Alright, you want to use your Bauer 20 volt battery for any application. You need an adapter and this is how you do it. So, first off, huge shout out to um, the person that I uh, that actually made this file on uh, Thingiverse. Link is in the description. I don't remember his name, but I will put it in the description. Huge shout out to him. I only had to make a few minor modifications to make it work for uh, 10 gauge wire. So first thing I did is I used a spade connector and I used the, plow, uh, the plier side of my wire uh, strippers and I used that to kind of hug it, twist it a little bit and to take off that cover so everything fits. And for the purpose of this video, um, I just used what I have. I know that these are female disconnects. Of course, that's not going to work any male disconnects, but for the sake of the video and building the actual adapter, um, this is what I had lying around, didn't want to waste anything. So you have two parts, the base and the cover. Um, you can see I'm putting the cover on right now. Just make sure it's on the right um, direction. You'll see that there's grooves uh, for the wires um, and for the actual connectors, the, um, the side part, the thinnest part. Um, that's what's actually going to keep them in place. So you'll want to make sure that that's lined up perfectly. And this, I think, is 2.5 millimeter screws. Yes, this, again, this is a voiceover. Um, but to give you better quality, uh, but these are the 2.5 milliliter screws. Apologies for my shaky hands. Uh, they're self-tapping, and you just need a pretty self-explanatory, just screw them in. Um, I'll only put in two screws for now, uh, just for the simplicity of the video, so you get the basic idea. Not really much to it. Um, but for those that like thoroughness, um, just stick around. I'll try to be more thorough. Um, if you pretty much got the idea already, feel free to go at it and stop watching this video. Um, so you want to also make sure before you do that uh, be weary of reverse polarity, so make sure everything is in line. So anyway, enough of the uh, the detail here. I'm almost done screwing in these screws. And yep, I finished. Okay, so you want to make sure everything is nice and snug and in place. Give it a, a nice little pull, and if everything's nice and snug, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you'll want to double confirm that uh, that the right wire is on the right side, so reverse polarity doesn't happen. We don't want that to happen. <laughs> that's not good. So here's the actual product that works um, with male connectors, and you'll see it slides in perfectly. A uh, little shakiness, it might look a little bit tough uh, to take apart because I don't have it mounted. Um, but I did mount this and it works perfectly and everything works smoothly. Um, so that's why. So this is perfect. So big thanks again to the person that did design this um, adapter. So... You'll definitely want to make sure you'll see that there's a B plus and a B minus. Make sure the red wire, uh, the red connector goes to B plus and B minus the black. Um, that C1, C2, all that extra stuff, um, that's for extra uh, features like the battery maintainer and um, the battery health and all that stuff that comes with the charger, um, which we don't really need for this we just care about the basic stuff uh, just make sure reverse polarity doesn't happen um here are the grooves i believe that i'm showing the grooves and make sure everything is aligned yep so there's the grooves you see those little those little crevices or whatever you want to call it those little that little part there 
and you'll want to make sure that the connector side is aligned and you'll definitely want to make sure that it gets to the right one. Uh, so if we're doing the red wire first, we want to make sure that the side we're going with the red wire is where we see B plus. Uh, so yeah, I think that this is the red wire first. I'm making sure everything is aligned. All right, so I'm going to twist it over. Just make sure you don't lose your eye on this. Don't lose your, uh, your focus. Double check. Triple check. And again, I know my shaky hands are tough to see. Um, but here we go. Really making sure. I think you guys get the point. I apologize if you guys are watching this and I didn't cut the video. But there are those rigid spots and uh, those uh, tight spots. And you can just slit them in just like that those little slits, make sure they're nice and snug, and do the same for the other side as well. And that's all, put the cover back on just like I showed you earlier on the video, and let's see how this works on my, uh, on my mower. So, we are just using these disconnects to connect to the battery or the application. Not sure why I'm having trouble here, but it's on. Probably gonna mount it, well, I did. I mounted it right here, used Gorilla Glue, and so far it works like a charm. Um, sticks on there pretty good. And here's the three amp power battery. It's not going to give me much runtime. Uh, probably only like 15 minutes or 20, maybe. Um, so we're just going to slide it in, leave it just like that. And we'll turn on my transmitter. Back so you can see the wheels. Everything working good. Um, obviously those lead acid batteries aren't connected, but everything as you can see, moving great, steering, reversing. Um, depending on your uh, H-bridge motor driver, you'll probably want to turn it on to lithium mode if there is one. Uh, but everything working like a charm, looking beautiful, and that's pretty much it, everything working. Um, turn it off, and one thing you just want to double check, I know that this wasn't under load, so I probably don't have to worry about uh, discharge. Uh, like we said before, nothing is connected to those C1, C2, C3, and C4 uh terminals so it might be best to get your uh, multimeter and to make sure that we're at a safe uh, discharge measurement so I think I'm looking at like 0.1 millivolts and obviously that's a nice discharging time to discharge but if you don't have a multimeter just wait at least a half hour or something and then discharge it slides out works like a charm and I did glue it right there everything does work perfectly um, so yeah that's a nice spot if you do have a Ryobi mower um, but anyway thanks for watching this uh, feel free to comment and uh, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, until the next one, 
See you later.